Okay guys, welcome to today's video. Today's video is on a Dacia Duster a spark plug change. Um, so I've basically stripped it all down already. I've removed the spark plugs. So I'm just going to show you in reverse order. You know, it'll be the same process whenever you're removing it, only I'm doing it in reverse order. So hopefully this will help you. So you can see today, uh, this is the spark plugs. All right, and you get spark plugs in a petrol engine. Um, and basically they'll ignite the iron fuel mixture. For combustion to take place in each cylinder okay so as you can see we have one two three and there's just one over here four uh four cylinders so four spark plugs all right now i said there this is on a dacia duster so basically it's a Renault. um everything and it's a Renault. so this is a newer Renault engine um a wee bit of a stripping match to, to get to the spark plugs so i'll just explain that as i go along now one thing you need to have for when you're doing this is um, a specialized spark plug socket. Okay. Now, usually this is a normal sized spark plug socket. As you can see, this one here is a 10 mil. But this type here, this is a specialized one. It's a lot smaller. As you can see there, this bigger one will not fit down into that the smaller one does now the difference between a spark plug socket and a normal socket is on the inside it has a bit of rubber and it's to protect the ceramic the white ceramic here you, you want to make sure you do not crack that ceramic or bend the electrode on the top of it if you can, you can focus in on that elect see it there so you can see the the, the air gap there you don't want to just drop it down into the cylinder because it can it can bend that. If it bends that or cracks your ceramic, you're going to get a misfire in that engine. Okay, so as you can see that this one has like a wee grabber inside it, where it holds it, it won't drop out on us. Okay, this one here will have a bit of rubber, and both of them protect this bit of ceramic here. Okay, now, so I've got my four new spark plugs. And they're just going to go back in again. Okay, so put the spark plug into the socket. Put it on the extension bar. And then we're not dropping it down. We're sort of down nice and easy. And just start that by hand. Right up until you can't tighten it no more. And that's it fully tight. And now we need to use a torque wrench which is going to be set to 20 newton meters and that's that's it tight okay so now I have to do this for all four If you don't have a spark plug socket which holds it in place, you can use a magnet. You can use your magnet. Your magnet can hold your spark plug, put it down into this into the cylinder there, and spin it round until it starts and pull your magnet off. Then you can put your socket onto it. You know, so if you are doing this on a on a on a Dacia duster, be prepared. There's there's a wee bit more um, to do than a usual set of spark plugs. This one you have to remove the actual uh, inlet manifold and stuff. Not difficult. It just takes a wee bit more time. You have to take off the fuel pipes and the electrical connectors off your throttle body, um, off the vacuum hoses. And obviously you have to take off your uh, your coil packs as well. Okay, so that's all the four spark plugs in. The next step then is to put our coil packs back on. Okay, these coil packs basically generate um, the spark 
send the spark down into the spark plug. We're saying puts it into the cylinder, as we said, to ignite that air fuel mixture. Okay, this is these are all electronically controlled, by the way. That's why they have electrical connectors on her. Long gone are the days of um, points and uh, distributor caps and stuff. You just need to make sure they're well on. I don't want any spark traveling down the outside of the spark plug. Again, because we will get a misfire. These are just 10mm bolts which hold the coil packs in place. Okay, sorry about this guys, you know, you can sort of Fast forward on maybe a couple of minutes. I maybe maybe could have just made the video on one. Again, don't over tighten them. They're bolted into the rotter cover. Um, and on the old Renault engines, a lot of people used to over tighten them and snap them. And then the coil packs used to jump out and the, the engines used to misfire. So usually a rule of thumb would be do tight and we nip. If it doesn't have any torque settings for it, you know, sometimes you need to get your torque settings off the manufacturer. Tight, nip. Okay, so that's the spark plugs in, the coil pack on. Now I need to put the, the manifold back on. Because you can just, if you can see just underneath here, um, this is where the air will come in. The fuel will come in over here. It'll get mixed. And it'll get ignited then by your spark plugs. Okay, spark plugs need to be changed on this vehicle. I think it's every 40,000 mile. This car's just touching 40,000. Okay, so now you can see we've got the big manifold just here. So we have them turn under there first. Like so. So that's your your manifold sitting in place. Okay. This is our two fuel lines. One on here, the other on there okay and i think of one two and five across here i have seven 10 mil bolts holding it in i've also got a vacuum hose over here which has to go back on i have another vacuum line just here so you just make sure that you put them all on proper the Throttle body, electrical connector has to go on. Okay. What I'm going to do, sorry, is I'm just going to. clips back on the fuel lines here Induction pipe needs to go back on under the throttle body. Right. 
vacuum. I have another vacuum hose here. And an electrical connector down on the front of the manifold here, which will be for a manifold absolute pressure sensor. Connect that back on. And this is an electrical connector now. So I think it's stuck underneath. I'm going to have to maybe remove it off again just to get access to that. Okay, so I was just able to lift it up and, and get it under. Okay. And I'll just pop that clip back on. Alright, so basically what we had to remove there was um, the throttle body electrical connector, the air hose, which you have to tighten back up. Vacuum hose, vacuum hose here, a vacuum hose over this side, manifold absolute pressure sensor. Okay, and now I have all my, my 10 mils, which will go back in and hold this manifold all in place. You know, again, always start them by hand. I'm not tighten any the full way up until they're all in. Okay, and then the remainder is sort of, uh, and that's just down in between the manifold there. Two, three, there's one just at the side there as well. Okay, so I'm gonna put these in. And again, I'm gonna have to use my magnet to get them into place. Because you'd never be able to get your hands in there. So if you can get your bolts in. Then we can just tighten them up as we go along. Okay, so I'm now going to go around and tighten the seven 10 mil bolts to hold that in place. So I'm not sure if you're able to see that over there. It's your manifold and stuff up there, your throttle body and so on. Okay, so just basically to tighten up the 10 mils going across the there. And there's one just right here. There's one at the other side. Once that's done, start the car up, make sure there's no misfires, just double check everything, make sure there's no leak coming out of the fuel pipes and stuff, and then it's good to go. Uh, thanks for watching this video, any questions pop them through, um, just keep an eye out for my next video, please like and subscribe to this channel, thank you.